all right hello everyone hello YouTube hello the world hello anybody watching this I hope you're doing good as I am uh, I feel in the mood to do another tutorial and so this tutorial is gonna be uh, to help um, to help uh, let me show you to help Aaron Galvin um, but I'm sure it's gonna help everyone because this is something that I come across all the time and anybody would want to know how to do this as well so I thought I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to uh, he says uh, he needs to print in 090 by 06 so I'm thinking that uh, this is probably in centimeters in terms of units uh, I asked him he hasn't yet gotten back about it so uh, but I think it's zero, uh, zero 09 cent centimeters by zero 06 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I think when I'm trying to figure out paper sizes and and you know I have no idea what zero 09 and zero 06 really looks like and I have no idea what's going on in FreeCAD and what it's going to print at what scale and all these kinds of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Inkscape and uh, Inkscape is going to be the tool that allows us to know uh, what we want to know. So here's the Inkscape that I just opened and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, File and Document Properties and go to... Um, okay so here you can see that you've got all the different sizes so anytime somebody says hey I want a drawing sheet by A by 3 or or C size or whatever so you can figure out what sizes are, are from these templates or so, you know architecture D architecture C all those things are 11 by 17 or an A4 so you can know exactly what sizes they are but right now I know what uh, the unit I want to work with centimeters so I'm gonna come here and say centimeters and I'm gonna type in the values 0 0.9 uh, actually 0 0.9 by uh, 0 0.6 I believe uh, that's what it was let's check again uh, 0 0.9 by 0 0.6 so I think that that's uh, in centimeters um, okay so this is probably what we have here so um, from here on now I'm gonna bring up FreeCAD so here's a drawing that um, you know I have created from this model that I made a while ago. It's a fairly decently, um, you know, uh, well uh, complete model in terms of the information it provides so far. And so I thought it would be a good thing to kind of start talking about some of the previous stuff I've done before because they are very good examples of some of the things that I've done before uh, to show you. So. Um, uh, you know probably in another tutorial I'll tell you more about this specific project and how it was thought about and how it was conceived and you know maybe the challenges and whatnot in FreeCAD as well and you know the whole idea but for now I want to focus on uh, you know trying to get this drawing out and stuff like that so uh, for example you want to print in PDF once you've laid out all your uh, information like this uh, one thing you can do for example is come to the start and say export PDF uh, this is probably what I use the most uh, export PDF and you know I can export uh, I can export uh, you know one two three let's call it one two three PDF one two three and um, let's open it real quick okay so here's the PDF uh, so this PDF uh, I think uh, I would guess that this is uh, let me see let me see what size this is A document
this is an A3 because I usually work with A3 so that's an A3 so I'm going to come to Inkscape and find out what an A3 size is about uh, A3 size A3 is uh, 297 millimeters by 420 millimeters so I'm probably gonna draw a box here so I you know can visualize the so I can visualize uh, the, the difference in size so now I'm going to select an A3 and so whoa okay so now I have a better idea of what I'm working with so if this is in centimeters it's probably too small you know so um, 0 0.9 by 0 0.6 0 0.6 and I go to centimeters Zero point nine, zero point six. Okay, I think it's in meters because that's too small. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. that and then I'm gonna go to an A3 format again so clearly his drawing is bigger than an A3 drawing <clears throat> so um, so at this point if you want to create a template you can create you can use this to create a template so let's say uh, uh, you know I want to draw a circle here and um, another box here for my information and another circle here okay so what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to save this Inkscape file I'm going to resize the page so that it fits the the content size and then I'm going to file just save this drawing uh, maybe uh, desktop and then save the SVG okay so now I'll go back to Inkscape um, you know you can change the drawing you can come to template here I'm going to change the template by clicking there going to desktop and selecting my drawing template open and as you can see this is my drawing template it fits right well as you can see that's a small square that I drew um, in Inkscape so uh, let me see I want to probably make this yellow you know it's maybe uh, too dark and then uh, bring this to the front file save and then come back into Inkscape and simply uh, maybe reload let's try that and there you go so uh, that's that is what it would look like in Inkscape so in FreeCAD so from there on I can just hit the you know export button and then you know just export that again one two three save that yes and then I'm you know and that's the PDF the PDF just updated so this is how you're going to print that and so at this point you can simply you know hit print on your printer and whatever size uh, let's say my printer is going to print at at the size of an eight and a half by eleven so it's going to shrink it down to the right size of the of what your whatever your printer is printing so you'd be able to let's say take a large sheet you don't need to scale a large sheet of drawing into 
a size I can fit. Checking to see my printer is printing. So, so you don't need to fit a large sheet um, on a small scale. You don't need to play with the scale. Once you have the original drawing uh, rightly placed into uh, the drawing sheet like this, you know. So once you have it placed into the drawing sheet, you can easily uh, print it at any paper size you want. You just need to make sure that the drawing is at the right scale. Now, it seems that uh, I bled my printer, but this is an example of the print itself. I'm not sure if you can see that. So as you can see, uh, I'm not sure if you can tell the quality, but it's fairly good it's not it's not bad but uh, that's how it works so i hope i was able to help you and um maybe um probably there's another way i was thinking about um there's this button here this one says export the page as an svg all right and then there's another one that probably says export as a pdf again um okay so the other route the other route is that you can export it as a P as an svg and in svg mode that's where you can do a lot of eight extra tweaks because in the in the pdf version um in the pdf version that i just exported i cannot do anything with it uh once everything is uh crystal uh on 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 the stuff you know it it's going to rasterize the information and so I cannot do much of it if I want to tweak it. So, but with the Inkscape file, I can export that. So if I say, this will be another option. So you can export it from into, uh, I'm gonna call it drawing SVG two, and then save it, show you what I mean. And then I'm gonna open it in Inkscape. That's not it. Okay. Here we go. So this is the drawing now in Inkscape. So in Inkscape now, you know. Okay, so the computer crashed. So I have to, uh, anyways, let's continue. So here, uh, as I was saying, uh, it, when you open the file when you export the file into Inkscape you can always re-edit the drawing so for example I probably want to take that background away oops not that uh, I didn't mean to delete all of it so I want to select just the background and then delete that and then select this other background and then delete that and you know I can always zoom in here and say well I don't like the way this dimension looks you know so I'm probably gonna select that and move it around probably over here like this or maybe I say well this line is too thick here like this select that and select that do that and do that I'm gonna come here and just basically tell it to be, you know, a line width of of 0.5, maybe like this. So the drawing is highly re-editable, and so you can um, you can basically tweak anything here. You can, you know, keep on adding more stuff. For example, this bathroom here is incomplete, so I'm gonna come here. I'm just gonna draw a. Uh, a box here like this and probably give it some kind of uh, rounded rounded uh, thing to it like this and uh, basically this 
so you can see that um, you can easily do a lot of easy touch-ups this way and then after that of course you can easily just uh, hit the button and say file save or you know you, you can export it if you save as you know you could tell it to save as a PDF a PDF portable document and so you know and that's it there you have it so those are the different ways that you can work with the PDF exports and different methods work well uh, for different purposes so it really is is up to you uh, sometimes I find that uh, you know depending on what I'm trying to do uh, like see in this scenario for example I, I can re-edit some of the text as well that came out of uh, FreeCAD but sometimes the text is exploded you know like in the previous example that I showed you with the, with the, with the, the numbers uh, the dimensions so as you can see I, that text is re-editable but the previous one is not lagging a little bit here because my computer is doing a lot of things at the same time okay you know all the setup to record and everything eating the ram away Come on. <laughs> oh boy. Someday, someday, hopefully, someday. But in a general sense you get the idea. Uh my my uh my computer is uh, st stats are going way up. The processor is way, way overloaded. I've I have a lot of applications running in the background scene. So I'm probably gonna cut it off because it's it's uh, it's eating some of the RAM away. But you get the idea. This is how you export a drawing in PDF in FreeCAD. Uh, so I think that's it.